Hi, welcome to this review of the The Bleeder plugin by Wilkinson Audio. I'm Marlon and this is the White Noise Studio. So we're gonna do a review of the The Bleeder plugin. This plugin is an audio gate aimed to remove bleed and leakage of other instruments in closed microphones. Uh, and it does it in a far more natural way and good sounding way than your average audio gate. Um, we're gonna go over the controls and functionality of this plugin. And at the end of the video, at this time code, I will show you some advanced usage of the bleeder. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and let's go. <laughs> The Debleeder plugin is an audio gate, and an audio gate is a dynamic tool to suppress noise and sound below a certain threshold. Usually, this lowering in volume gets done without changing the sound, and this can end up sounding like you're turning down the volume knob every time. The Wilkinson Audio Debleeder works in the same way, only it doesn't lower the volume, it applies a high cut filter. So there's a sound above the threshold and then the high cut kicks in. Uh, and this high cut is not an on and off, but it slides in like this. And this movement uh, mimics how sound naturally decays. When sound decays, first high frequencies will die off and then the low end. So it actually works like a high cut filter, which goes from high frequencies to low frequencies. And this high cut behavior can be useful in mixing with, for instance, uh, removing cymbals from closed TomTom microphones. So you get a better clean TomTom sound and a better cymbal mix because the bleed of the TomTom microphone will not interfere with the total cymbal sound. Okay, enough talking. Let's go to the control overview. First I will play an example of a snare drum with higher bleed where I will turn the plugin on and off. This plugin works by setting the fundamental frequency which will trigger the gate. These two knobs allow for a better detection of what will be gated and what not. You do that by using the fundamental knob and the bandwidth knob sets its bandwidth where the plugin detects. You can and should use the audition button which works as an input solo to focus in on the frequency area you will use as the gate trigger. Um, let's check it out. And this is the bypass button. The range knob is where you regulate where the high cut kicks in. Tweak this to fine tune it so the sound you want to keep sounds good and the bleed gets nicely muffled. Let's check it out. The reduction sets how much reduction will be applied. This is the uh, reduction button. Uh, the threshold sets how much reduction will be applied. And the threshold can be set to either a hard knee or a soft knee. So the reduction kicks in either abruptly or more gently. Let's check this out with a snare drum groove with more ghost notes. So this gate has this functionality, which is nice. With the release knob, you set how long the gate will be open.
on a side note, in the Waves OVAX plugin review I did over here, I was complaining about the limited settings of the gate uh, in Waves OVAX and that you could always replace it with a, a different gate. The Debleeder would be a good one for that. Okay, let's continue. Here's the info button. Usually this shows who made the plugin and which version is running. Uh, with the bleeder this shows some extra features. This dialog shows where which button is set to. And with that it gives very useful information. Uh, check it out. See? And this knob here gives you extra control over the soft knee setting of the threshold. I have no clue why these functions haven't been included in a normal view of the bleeder since they are so handy and useful. Um, even a simple hover over button display would have been helpful. Maybe they can include it in an upcoming version. Um, Wilkerson Audio advertises the bleeder as a drum bleed remover. So let's check out some more drum bleed removing. Here's a snare microphone with a right bleed. That works pretty well. And let's go to a Tom Tom. It's over here. It still leaves through a little bit of the attack of the crash symbol, but the sustain gets nicely muffled, so that will blend in the mix pretty well. The bleeder can not only be used only on drum sources. Uh, I have for instance used it on a vocal in a white noise session, uh, where I removed the bleed of other instruments in the vocal microphone pretty successfully. Uh, I put the fundamental frequency up to its max to 500 Hz and that captured uh, everything pretty nicely. It would have been nice if the range was a little bit broader, that will add to the flexibility, maybe also in an upcoming version. And I have used the bleeder even in mastering. Um, I have used it on the first track of the new Michel Banabila EP Spherix 3. You should check it out, it's really cool. Um, I used the bleeder on a parallel track and I blended that in uh, to increase the dynamics of that track. Uh, like I said, you should check it out, it's really cool. Okay, let's do some additional functions. First one is to use the bleeder to actually bring out the bleed of a microphone. And I will tell you why in a second. First, the normal track. Then I will duplicate it. And I will flip the face on the second one. Like this. Uh, now you have total silence because the two tracks face cancel each other out. It also means that the bleeder is constant and does not have any weird behavior. Okay, the next step is to actually remove the bleeder of one of the tracks. Like this. And I'll tweak the bleeder a little bit. Thank you. 
you still have a little bit of the spiky attack of the snare. Uh, this technique is really useful uh, when you're mixing and you're thinking, hey, I need more right cymbal. You don't have a right cymbal microphone. And when you put up the overheads, it brings out the total kit too much. Uh, so it can be a lifesaver. And one of the other things you can do is that you use the bleeder to make a second gate work better. First play the track with the bleeder. And uh, let's insert the second gate. Here we go. So now it almost sounds like a sample. Okay, let's go over the side chaining functions of the bleeder. The bleeder has side chaining functions and, and they work in the stereo mode. Uh, for that, you have to send the original audio to the left channel and the trigger to the right channel. And then the right channel will trigger the left channel and you have to uh, make the track mono to get the end result. If you want to use a stereo source, then you have to make a quad channel track. And then channels one and two will be the original audio and three and four will be the trigger and three and four will trigger one and two this is a bit more involved than the standard functions of uh, the vs3 side chaining and i hope they implement this also in a future update um, the bleeder is a tool which is like uh, the other tools of wilkinson audio uh, like the mic clips i reviewed uh, they are very useful and make your life easier in the studio um, it's on sale right now. It goes for $30, which will be around 27 euros. And I would recommend you buy it. Okay, thank you for watching this review of the uh, the Bleeder plugin by Wilkinson Audio. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.